After two years in the NFL, our guest here is already a Super Bowl champion. Mitch Petrus was a walk-on at the University of Arkansas. He was picked by the Giants in the fifth round of the 2010 NFL Draft. Now he protects Eli Manning with sheer size, as you can see, and he's also been nominated for the Revolver Golden Gods Award for Most Heavy Metal Athlete. So, Mitch, thanks for joining us here I'm in New York. Here, yes. All right. Uh, tell me a little bit about what the Super Bowl kind of aftermath has been like for you. What have these last couple of months been like since you guys won the championship? <laughs> Uh, real fast, a lot of people want to you know want to talk to you and, and congratulate you. Uh, it's uh, a lot of, a lot of things, different things to take in. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of all been thrown at, thrown at you from different angles, but uh, uh, you know it, it, it doesn't really sink in as well until like you're sitting at home or you're in bed at night saying, you know, "Man, we won the Super Bowl." <laughs> it keeps replaying in your head versus because when it first happened, it was just like it was such a relief almost that you know because we worked so hard for it uh and now it's kind of like now you, you can kind of like joke around like yeah we won a super bowl like that's like man that's really a some people play in the you know, nfl for 10 years never get you know never win a, uh, yeah, a super bowl or some play never win a playoff game period right know? so i felt fortunate to be a part of that have you been able to have you watched the game since you know it actually happened like have you sat down and watched the whole tape yes of the game? Our, our yes our, we haven't watched the tv the tv cut of okay we watched, yes we watched our uh uh, uh, the film that we get, yes. And, uh, what was that like? Well, uh, I, I think it's a bit different because people don't, we get like a, two different copies of the, of the game, okay. game tape. There's no, and there's no commentators or anything like that. Right. But you know, you, you just know that like, uh, you know, the state of the game, you know, the crucial moments where uh, uh, the game's on the line, we knew it. It's like, uh, it's not a, even though, even though there's no sound, obviously, it's like you can see the crowd, how into it they are. It's, it's a pretty cool deal. One of the obviously big plays in that game was Mario Manningham's 38-yard catch yes. in the fourth quarter. He uh, He's already you know left the Giants, obviously, in free agency. Aaron Ross, another Giant who's left. Brandon Jacobs is a guy whose future is uncertain with the team. Mitch, you blocked for Brandon for a couple of years. What what would his loss mean to that backfield? And do you still hope for a chance that maybe he, he finds a way to come back? Yeah, and I, I wish the best for Brandon. Uh, obviously, he's a pound, a ground and pound type of guy. And uh, what's been great to have him is when we need a yard, we've been able to get it. And, uh, right. and, and the NFL, man, when it's uh, third and short, man, that they – Teams are, gonna, teams are gonna put ten guys in the box, mm -hmm. you know? and so uh, um, you, you got somebody that's, you know like they can bring the mail in, and he's a, I mean, he's obviously huge, <laughs> as big as he is, he's been able to come through those situations that's been really tremendous for us. I mean, uh, not only that, but obviously making good yardage. But yeah. the, the fact that sometimes that hey man, there's not really gonna be much of a hole here, you know, and he kind of makes he it plows anyway. through it. Yeah. Mitch, what about for you personally going into this next season? This will be your third year in the NFL. You got to play a little bit more this past year yeah. than your rookie year. You started three games. What do you hope for yourself going into this third season? Um, I want to continue to improve my technique and everything I do. It also mean become an all-around all -around better player. Pa I mean, pass protection is so uh, crucial. It's so it's, it, There's such a a bigger learning curve on that from uh, you know mastering that versus mastering run, run blocking. blocking. Yeah, so it's a lot harder. You and guys in the NFL are very talented, obviously. So I, I just uh, I want to you know my, it'd be my biggest thing is improve my technique and uh, you know because that's what's going to give you a chance to win. Everybody's everybody's big, everybody's fast. Right. It's how you know how how quick do you get your technique and how smart are you? So. you I mean, uh, one of the guys that that you know going to the season with one of the fellow backup offensive linemen was Kevin Booth, and right. you saw how invaluable he became for you guys starting for them during the postseason. And Does now, that make you think, okay, I can do this too? Well, you know what. Uh, what that told me was that you know if you dress in NFL, you're only one play away. Because uh -huh. that, that's the truth, obviously. And so I believe that. Well, when when he went in the game, it's uh, and I, then I got my opportunity. I uh, I felt it, it was good for me for a sample. I said, you know what, my time came. I, I, I tried to seize the moment the best I could. I felt like I, I you know, I felt like I belonged. You know, I, I could compete in the NFL. But before then, it was like I really didn't know. I wasn't going yeah. against you know, wasn't going against the best players out there. So anyway, uh, but you you always gonna know that uh, if you're going to dress or be in a, you know, a uniform, you're always one play one one play away, and sometimes even you know. <laughs> less than that it's like that it's just you're in the game you're in the game so, yeah Mitch, last thing for you. The big story in this town right now is Tim Tebow joining the Jets, getting traded to the Jets as uh, a backup quarterback for Mark Sanchez. You played against uh, Tebow's Florida Gators in college when you were at Arkansas. What do you remember about those games, and, and what do you think of him as a, a fit here in New York? Well, um, I'm really not going to answer that question. I'm just going to say this. <laughs> uh, the, uh, 
Tim, Tim Tebow is a good guy, and, and, and I mean, personally, he's a really good guy. Yeah, the media yeah. has blown it out of proportion to whether you might love him and you not know him, or you might even hate him because the way the media is, is done with this Tebow thing and everything, it's just been really over, over exaggerated to, ex to a great degree. But in the, at the end of the day, he's a really good guy, and he works hard, and I, and I wish the best for him. You know. Uh, Except when we're playing the Jets. <laughs> right, right. I want to thank Mitch for coming in here and taking a few minutes oh, to talk pleasure. to us. My yes. pleasure. Good luck with the uh, heavy metal awards the rest thank of the offseason.